When you hear pH, you think about acid and alkalinity. We know a little about acid from car batteries and biology class, but what about alkalinity? Water alkalinity is a measure of carbonates and bicarbonates in the water. It's expressed as total alkalinity. At 80 parts per million to 120 parts per million, alkalinity can help stabilize your pool water's pH and prevent rapid changes. When your total alkalinity is low, not only will the pH fluctuate, the pool may experience plaster etching, corrosion of metals, green or cloudy water, as well as causing eye and skin irritation. If your alkalinity becomes too high, your chlorine will be less efficient as a disinfectant and your water will become cloudy and possibly unsafe. So, like most components in pool water, controlling alkalinity is essential. When it gets too low, you can add sodium bicarbonate. Note that you should only add sodium bicarbonate at the rate of about two pounds per 13,000 gallons of water every four days. Always test water and use an app or online calculator to determine the amount needed for your pool water. When your water's alkalinity is too high, you'll want to introduce acids, such as muriatic acid, to the deepest part of the pool with the filter off. The idea is to introduce acid a little at a time over days, sometimes weeks. Again, always test water and use an app or online calculator to determine the amount needed for your pool water. Because of the length of the time alkalinity takes to stabilize from one extreme to another, testing your alkalinity often and keeping track is very important. If you have any questions about testing water, total alkalinity, or balancing water, please contact HASA directly or speak to a HASA rep at your local dealer. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you.